Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well, viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Artie! I'm Marty. Welcome back to Apollo Justice, everyone! Train your cords of steel up, because uh -huh. we're going to court today. Turnabout Serenade Day Free Trial. This is unfortunately the part of the case that's kind of weak, because it just kind of drags on okay. longer than necessary. Okay. But I don't want to sour your mood ahead of time. Let's just start. July 10th, 949 AM, District Court Defendant Lobby number... When are they two. ever going to replace that couch? Um, it looks pretty comfy. It looks pretty so. comfy, but, like, it's been there a while. It might need... Ten to... years, at least. Also, who's the dude in that picture? The judge's brother. <laughs> is it? But he has, no. he has a white He's... beard. I don't know who it is. Okay. Well, this is it. Today's the day it all goes down. And then there was yesterday. This meeting's over. Sorry. Just give us five more minutes. We can call them a bat back after that. Sorry. No go. Come on, piano boy. We're leaving. Darian, wait! I never liked you, either of you. Huh? Darn it, we were so close! He was about to tell us! Hey, Apollo. He didn't want us to hear what Machi had to say. And I think I know why. Time to bring down a little justice. Hey! What, what was that? He has heard but unseen. Who's that talking? Vala Grammary! Using the door like an average muggle, no less. <laughs> One of my favorite references. That's great. <laughs> you aren't the witness today, are you, Uncle Valet? <laughs> A preposterous proposition. How could I stand to stand upon the stand? Why, my secrets will be free for the plucking. I might even have to sign autographs. That is why I intend to remain hidden for the entire day. Ooh, vanishing magic? Indeed. I will jump upon an express train and express myself to the next town over. But before I go, a word of warning. Warning? What? A grand grammary glamour resides at the root of all that has happened. Do not forget this truth. A uh, glamour? A spell, a sorcery, a great illusion. Miss Trucy, though it pains me to part so, I need to get in line for a ticket. Farewell. And there he goes. He sure seemed happy about that illusion thing. Oh, big illusions are the bread and butter of a magician. You can't pull off a show without one. The big illusion's always a spectacle to remember. Usually it involves cutting up things like people or elephants or the Eiffel Tower or anything, really. So he was talking about what we saw at the concert. That memoir's disappearing act. And Prosecutor Gavin's exploding guitar. I wonder what he meant by being at the root of all that happened. Well, it's about time. Shall we go? Yeah, whatever. Oh, uh, excuse me, sir. <laughs> yes? <laughs> the scheduled starting time for the trial has been changed. The trial will not be commencing until 10.30 a.m. Sorry for the inconvenience. Huh? Did something happen? This is a first. It was by the judge's request, some per urgent personal business. He oh. had to go to Taco Bell, but the line was really long. <laughs> <laughs> I know what happened. Great. I bet he stayed up too late last night watching courtroom dramas. I bet, and what's his face? His Apparently he's visiting, visiting the hospital yep. again. The hospital? I believe it was mentioned that the Chief Justice's son is unwell. Apparently his condition worsened considerably this morning. <laughs> Why do you sound... I give the bailiff a different voice every you time do. I talk. You do. You sound like... Um... Uh... A weasel? <laughs> no. Um... I can't think of what... I'm like... Oh, Chuck. From... Putt-Putt. Putt-Putt? How's my little buddy? But it's like a little different? Oh, no. Chief Justice's son. Oh, that's right. Remember yesterday morning? The judge said he had to go visit him after the trial. There's an article about it in the newspaper. If you care to read about it yourself... Newspaper article added to the Maybe court record. Like from pajamas. Incuritis. Where have I heard that before? Yeah. I'll let you read that article for us, Apollo. Newspaper article article about the Chief Justice's son who is inflicted with incuritis. I was right the whole time. Yeah, you were. Good job. Incuritis syndrome, first case in country. That's a bit okay. Just leave the TV guide page to me. 
Try not to lose the page of the funnies if you can. <laughs> Apollo likes reading peanuts, Reef Pete's. Yep. July 10th, 1030 AM, District Court Courtroom number three. We were in the lobby number two, but we went to courtroom number three. That's kind of strange. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> My apologies for the delay. Court is now in session for the trial of... Uh, how do you say this name again? Machi Tobaye, our suspect Fortisam is Fortissimo. Right, uh, it's, it's his trial in any case. The defense is prepared, your honor. The prosecution is ready to rock. Is something wrong, your honor? No, well, yes. It's just, I've been friends with the Chief Justice since we were students. It pains me to see him going through such a difficult time. Incuritis, was it? That article said that there's no known cure. Air Judge, let me say, with all honesty, I feel your pain. But now is not the time for Did tears. Did they say how old his son is? I don't think so, no. Maybe Machi Tobaye was like, friends? Friends? Even though the Chief okay. Justice is American and Machi is Borginian. Well, maybe like they were on an online forum. They're like, oh, hey. I really, they like sending each other weird pictures or something. <laughs> They're like, oh. They met on the Lemmings forums and the Chief Justice's <laughs> son's username was the Chief Justice's son. son. Yep. Now is the time for law. Indeed. We left off at quite the juncture yesterday. I asked Interpol about that number. IPX6314206. Wait, I just realized, what if he totally Why? gave us the wrong- Yeah, what if he totally was just like, uh, it's this guy. That's- it, that's possible. That's possible. <laughs> the agent re registered under this number was Romain Latouse. Uh, thanks for looking into that for us, Detective Crescent. It's a great help. And thank you for not sneezing his last name. Oh, no problem at all, Your Honor. I'll be heading out. Do we have to see the whole thing again? I forgot how many unnecessary flashbacks are in this case. Wait. That voice just now. It sucked. <laughs> it sucked? <laughs> that voice I heard talking to Mr. Latouse when I heard the gunshots fire. It sucked! It was so bad! <laughs> no way! <laughs> I, 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 I'm a professional singer. Actually, he doesn't sing. He just plays the bass. Quite a sensational ending. Who would have thought Darian would guest star in the season cliffhanger as a suspect? I asked the prosecution to look into this matter. Please tell the court your findings. Darian, Chris <laughs> Darian Crescent is a member of my band, the Gaviniers. He's also a detective, making the current charges serious indeed. Yet after investigation, I have found no cause to alter our case or file new charges. And your reason is? Weren't you aware, Air Forehead? He has an impeccable alibi. An alibi? Let us review the facts again, shall we? The concert held on the night of the shooting was in free sense. The Gaviniers ripped up the stage during the first set. For the second set, our guests took center stage. The only performers appearing were myself, Lamewa, and Machi. Yep. Along with a drummer and a bassist, for a total of five. However, he did not mention what's his face. The shooting in the dressing room, however, took place during the third set. Supposedly. Lamewa and the defendant, Machi Tobaye, had left the stage at that point. And the Gaviniers were already rocking. This is when two shots ran out at the scene of the crime. Shots heard by Detective Emma Sky, mind you. And Apollo, you heard them too, right? I sure did. Furthermore, Lamewa herself witnessed the moment of her the crime. Well, perhaps I should say, she heard the moment of the crime. When she claims to have heard Mr. L L L <laughs> and Detective Crescent talking. But, but that's impossible! Detective Crescent was... Precisely. Detective Crescent was on stage getting his groove on, no less. <laughs> You threw off my groove! Yeah. <laughs> Voila! A perfect alibi! Hmm. Does the defense have anything to add to this? Oh, plenty! It's true. When I heard those gunshots, he must have been up on stage. Still, there's something here that doesn't quite add up. It appears the defense has no objections. I believe we can safely say that Darian Crescent's alibi has been acknowledged. Which means that Lamewa was sadly mistaken. Her testimony cannot be true. Very well. Of course, if we disregard her testimony, then I see no evidence keeping us from declaring a verdict. If indeed there are no objections. Uh-oh, Apollo. If he declares the verdict now... Ah! But Prosecutor Gavin's case is airtight! Lamawa might have been lying to protect Machi. How can I rely on her testimony? Wait. What about yesterday in the detention center? 
Simi, have you? About the case. What about the case? He wants to tell us about Mr. Lathith, his death? Sami, he means so. This meeting's over. Also, that would sound nothing like the characters. You're a moron. Darian! He's like, objection, I did not say any of that. <laughs> Lachi was trying to tell us something, I know it. Maybe the best thing to do is ask him, under oath. Very well, the court finds the defendant, er, uh, what was his name again? Objection! Your Honor! No, that wasn't it. It was something like Marquis or Mr. Justice. Your Honor, before you declare a verdict, I would like to call another witness. Exactly who else do you need to hear from? A witness who, until now, has not been given the chance to speak in this court. Because he doesn't speak English. You don't mean... I do. The defense calls defendant Machi Tobaye to the stand. W what? But he doesn't speak English, and we're very rude against people who don't speak <laughs> English in America. <laughs> we'll use an interpreter. Interpreter, I'm afraid you'll have to look elsewhere. I only speak a few phrases such as, I love you, and where is the toilet? <laughs> like many. <laughs> <laughs> the defense would like to request Lamewa as the interpreter. L Lamewa? But there's a possibility she's protecting the defendant. But she'd inter be interpreting for the defendant. Why would she lie? This is most unusual. <laughs> Bravo, Air Forehead. Air Judge, the prosecution agrees with the defense's request. Great. If Lamawa lies, I'll be able to tell. Even my limited knowledge of the language should be enough for that. Well, if both prosecution and defense are for this, I see little cause for refusal. Finally, some progress! Bailiff, please show the defendant and Lamawa to the witness stand. Sweet. <laughs> I've never seen I two just realized they're, the they're both they're both cross-armed. <laughs> like just It's like, a Morganian thing. <laughs> they're thug life, remember? <laughs> Apparently Christoph Gavin was also thug life, because he also was always like mm -hmm. Well, but that made sense with his demeanor. Yeah. I suppose there's a first time for everything. Shall we proceed? Your name to begin with. If you would, Lamewa. Yes. He says Machi Tobaye, the defendant. Hmm, this is certainly a first for this courtroom. Not that we really needed an interpretation of that message in particular. So far, so good. Very well, Mr. Justice, if you would. Huh? If I would- What, Your Honor? What- Would what? You called the defendant to the stand, did you not? What would you have him testify about? What do I want him to testify about? I, I hadn't fought that far yet! Apollo! Aren't you going to ask him what he was about to tell us yesterday? How can I if I don't know what he was saying? Excuse me, a moment, if I might speak? Yes, Lamiwa? Just now, Machi said that there is something about which he wishes to testify. Machi wants to testify about something? What could it be? What sort of testimony is he talking about? One moment, please. Ah, the suspense is killing me! And everyone else. What? 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 Well, Lemuwa? According to Machi, he has proof of his innocence. What? What? Whoa! Wait! His his pants! They've got ruffles on them! I love his outfit! <laughs> it's so funny and awesome! <laughs> this is a surprise. Yahoo! Victory, Apollo! We did it! This is sounding too good to believe, and I know what that usually means. Well, if that's true, then this is vital testimony. Lamewa, I mean Machi, please testify to the court. Very well. Witness testimony, proof of innocence. Oh boy. How is this gonna look? He says that word of Mr. Latus's death came as a great shock. But if the killing truly followed the lyrics of my song, I, that is he, could not have done it. He says that because the lyrics are in English, he does not understand them. You pointed that out earlier, too. I was like, this dude can't even read. Hmm, I see. He wouldn't have understood the English lyrics to the psalm. That would prevent him from following them so closely. I wondered what he meant by proof. Why, he would only have to ask Lamewa to know the meaning of that psalm. Lamewa! Did you ever explain the lyrics of that psalm to him? I did tell him, generally, what the song was about. But never in so much detail, and he never asked. Has my oft-repeated warning already fled that forehead? Lamewa might be protecting the witness. 
Well, anyway, let us proceed with the cross-examination. Mr. Justice, if you would. Yes, Your Honor. Something's hidden in that testimony. I know it. I'll just have to trust my bracelet to tell me where. It worked yesterday. It'll work today. Proof of innocence. I'm glad it wasn't like, symbols, the thing. Symbols, the no. thing. So then you had to like press no, one no, or the other. No, no, it's all in English. L Mr. Latusa's death came as a shock. Were Machi and Mr. Lipil close? <laughs> yes, after we traveled around the world on tour together. Namiwa, this is Machi's cross examination, not yours. But I knew the answer. This is a court of law. We'll play by the book. I understand. When, per when Prosecutor Gavin's tough, he's really tough. Machi says he was very good friends with Mr. Latus. Mr. Latus was always a gentle man, never angry. We got along quite well. I never dreamed something like this would happen. I just want him to take off his sunglasses. Sing us a song, you're the piano man. I just want to see what his eyes look like. Are they blue? Are they brown? Are they green? He Are has they no red? eyes. Does what? he have no eyes like that one weird episode where Toph doesn't have any eyes? You remember that? That was a yes, weird... Yes, I was, was, I was kind of hoping you wouldn't bring up El Astair Bender again. again. <laughs> <laughs> the guitar serenade, correct? Yes, the crime followed the lyrics of the song. The theft of the key ring, the burning guitar, and the bullet. This is why it could not have been me. I, that is he, could not have done it. By could not have done it, you mean... It is very simple. Machi could not have done all the things that happened that day. For all of those things followed the song lyrics so closely. He says that the lyrics are in English and he cannot understand them. Wouldn't it be difficult for him to perform without knowing the meaning of the lyrics? It's piano. He did know what the song was about, its mood, shall we say. That was enough to play by. Also, it's the piano! He's not singing! <laughs> Even if he couldn't hear, right. it like, wouldn't be a huge thing. I told him it was a song about a guitar in love. It's not actually the guitar that's in love, strictly speaking. Oh, perhaps I misunderstood. Oh, no, not really. Yours is also a valid interpretation. Um, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, it is my fault. I'm too used to singing in Borginian. It's much easier than trying to understand these English lyrics. I mean, to her credit, English is probably English the is most stupidly weird. complicated language out there. Where it's like, oh, this is the rule. Except there's like five million exceptions. To oh the my rule. gosh, there's so many where it's like, here's three words: rough, cough, and dough. They're all spelled the same, but they all have different pronunciations. Yep, it's and true. And you can't be like, ko, coog. Yep. Ka, uh, yeah. Because it's basically, for those of you who don't know, English is basically there's a result of like, we're gonna take the best parts of all the other foreign language languages out there and smoosh them together. It's like, ah. Uh. Kind of, yeah. It, it's. <laughs> Not hard if you grow up speaking it, but... I just realized everybody who watches this video either doesn't understand what we're saying or they understand English and thus they know what we're talking about. <laughs> but, but it's also... When people are learning English, though, as their second language, it's kind of comforting to know that you're learning one of the hardest languages Yeah, ever. you are. I've Especially if you don't know a romance I don't, language. I don't think it's the hardest language. I think, like, Icelandic is supposed to be the hardest. Well, yeah. Icelandic, which has, like, almost unpronounceable, like... Also, I've heard, Sounds. um... Arabic is also very Arabic tough. Arabic is hard. And then... Russian, I think, is tough. Russian, Russian I've heard, is tough, but not the toughest. Jap Japanese, I've heard, is tough. I mean, I did it. Because they have, like, three different alphabets, kind of. Yeah, but they're, they're valid. It would be like... Okay. Would it be know, like English versus English... Shakespearean English, kind of? No. So you know how in English we'll have, like, words that have an accent mark over them or something where you're like, oh, this is a French pronunciation. Yeah. It's kind of like that, but if you had different symbols to show that it's a foreign word. Oh, So weird. instead of saying, like, oh, it's cheese, mm -hmm. you'd be like, it's cheese, but it's, like, not, like, yeah. it's cheese -y. Because it's derived from an English word or from a different word. Mm -hmm. I've also heard Mandarin is very difficult Ugh, as well. I've heard that's hard. I have a friend. Who <laughs> I, I don't think Mandarin. I don't think there are any verb tenses in Mandarin. Huh. Which is How strange. Would that work. 
anyway. It's much easier than understanding English. <laughs> Yay, I knew he was innocent! I believe he is too, Trucy. I do. What's wrong, Apollo? You've got a tummy ache or something? Something's hidden in that testimony. If it's the truth, I'll find it. Okay, so our bracelet's reacting to these statements, so which one do you think is the most suspicious? Um, well, I don't think- uh, that's not suspicious. It's a shock anyway. Truly followed the lyrics. Well, yeah, it would've. I, that is he, could not have done it. It probably was that statement, but let's keep going. He says that because the lyrics- Eric's? Eric's? Why did Ear I say Eric's? Because the lyrics are in English, he does not understand them. Okay. So do you think it's this one, then? Uh, yeah. All I right. think the one thing, though, is that... Are we gonna look at him while this we is going on? We can see his eyes behind the glasses. That's kind of cool. Well, do we think he's gonna get nervous, or do we think she's going to get nervous? Probably him, but I don't... No, because she's just interpreting. The other thing is... I don't... Uh, it might be like he blinks. Check and see if his eyes move. He's like, why are you staring at me? I hear it again. Do it again! <laughs> I'm like trying not to blink. Okay. This is really weird, by the way, now that this is a thing. Okay, yeah. maybe, maybe it's not the statement. We'll hit stop. I think it, the other one could be the fact that it's in English, because remember, he, for whatever reason, went over to talk to the Borginian embassy with <laughs> Sharknado, and Shark he could understand what Sharknado was saying. Mmm, that's true. Go for this. I don't know who to watch, though. Do you Look, think he's going to get nervous, or do you think she's going to get nervous? I don't think she would get nervous, because we've already called her out on So stuff. You, you want to look at his eyes, then? I think his eyes, or maybe... Can we look at his hands, or just his arm? Are in English. He does not understand them. Dang, this is difficult. Okay. Let's look not at look arm. at his face. Let's look at his arm. Uh, never mind. Let's look at his neck. Maybe he'll have, like, a bulging vein? He's got, like, a scarf or, like, a... Freaking... Mm. Maybe his mouth will quiver? here's the thing, we're trying to call him out, not her. It shouldn't be her. Jesus. Check his nose, maybe his nose yeah. will start running. Because the lyrics Man, this is difficult. <laughs> why, why, your voice sounds so deep when I'm looking to oh. <laughs> Man, I'm not seeing anything on this dude. Maybe- Which is- we've seen that twitch. Have we? Yeah. Am I just like- am my eyes horrific? Probably. Maybe his eyebrows are being raised. Oh, there it is. Yeah, his yeah. eye keeps looking over. Okay. I was trying to check his eyes out, and then I was like, my eyes were also twitching yeah. out. Machi, you can't fool my eyes. You glanced towards her the very moment Lamawa said the word English. Why? And don't bother interpreting that. He understands me. Machi, tell the truth. You can understand English, can't you? What are you saying? Uh, of course he can't. Uh, Must he continue this charade? Mr. Justice, Machi says this. I know the word English. Huh? Before coming to this country, he heard me speaking English. He learned this name for the language. That is all. What? Give me a break! Is that such an unusual word to understand? Do you not know Espanol, for instance? Well, yeah, but... I'm sorry, but he truly does not understand your language. Well, well then explain this! How does he know the crime followed the lyrics? Have you always been such a suspicious-minded lad? 
It is simple. So simple it hardly requires an explanation. He read about it in the newspaper. The newspaper? The Borginian Daily Bugle. You can buy it in this country these days, you know. That seems strange. They have already begun to report about this case in our homeland. Okay, wait, I want to take a look at that. I was paper. right! Uh, the Zabulgini newspaper. Bulginian Article news. about the case, it, it doesn't- It doesn't mention it. Yep. I was right! What is wrong, Mr. Justice? Your eyes, they are quite fierce all of a sudden. Machi is lying. Maybe it's time to show them proof that he's lying. Well, I know why! I know why! This evidence proves that you're lying, and that I'm an attorney. <laughs> Ah, uh, perhaps my interpretation was at fault. Machi says you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Machi says try again, ad adhesive. N no, no, sorry. Try that again, sucker. Urk! I must have gotten it wrong! <laughs> One more time. So he claims he read about it in the newspaper. That means he's lying! <laughs> adhesive and sucker are very different. He probably, she probably thought, thought it was like sticky or something. Oh. Adhesive, sticky sucker. I have here a Borginian newspaper. The Borginian Daily Bugle, as a matter of fact. Indeed, there is a feature article about the case. Could you read this for me, Machi? That's right, it doesn't mention the lyrics. What? What is this about? I'm sorry, Machi. You couldn't have read about the lyrics in a Borginian newspaper. Something in the audience! <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was He's just going to thought he was just start crying in English. What does this mean? I don't see how it's possible. I know. He must have heard the lyrics when the police were doing their questioning. Yes. Not possible. The subject of the lyrics was not brought up in police questioning. I read the full report myself. So the lyrics weren't in the newspaper and the police didn't mention them. The only place you could have heard them was in this courtroom. I learned English. In English, no less. I learned English with my uh, forum friend named the Chief Justice <laughs> Minister. <laughs> the Justice Minister's son. <laughs> the witness will explain herself, er, himself. Machi says. He says. Yes. It is true, I read the newspaper. But this is not where I learned of the lyrics. I was mistaken. Now I remember. You remember? He says he heard of the lyrics from me. What? What? Is this true, Lamua? Yes, I'm afraid I had forgotten it myself. Then it looks like Air Forehead's been jumping to conclusions again. It seems so, yes. No, no! I was on to something! I know it! I can't let this chance slip away. Time is an issue today. Mr. Justice, are you finished with the cross-examination? What are you going to do, Apollo? If I'm going to keep on this cross-examining, I'd better have an angle of attack. Or else. My bracelet's still reacting. Your Honor, please allow me to continue. If you must, you must. Very well, witness. I understand. It was I who explained that the crime followed the song. Hold it! Exactly how much did you explain to Machi? Uh, this is a question for me, yes? This interpretation thing is getting old fast. I told him that Mr. Latouse had been killed and why he was a suspect. And I told him the crimes of that day followed my song. Did you mention any particular words of the song relating to the case, such as heart? Yes, of course I explained this. He was quite surprised. Yay, I knew he was innocent! <laughs> but, um, actually, maybe not. <laughs> it's probably... The new statement. Yep. Look for bugging out, bugging out, bugging out! That was what? I who explained the crime. Why do you pronounce the G like a G? I don't know. Song. Okay, this time, actually, repeat it. We're gonna look at her.
Wait, why does she have two eyebrows? Um, that's her eyelid top. Oh. I was about to be like, Marty, almost everybody has two eyebrows. She's not talking. She wasn't talking. Gotcha. Same twitch as before. Yep. Lamuwa, I'm currently cross-examining Machi. Why should you be uncertain? Me? Uncertain? Yes, you swallowed the very moment you told the court. It was I who explained. I see there's little point in trying to hide anything from you. Lamuwa, are you indeed protecting someone? That... is not a question with a simple answer. To tell the truth, I do not believe in it myself. Then allow me to answer for you. Lemawa, you're protecting... You're protecting Phoenix Wright! <laughs> I'm afraid I don't understand what you're saying. Well... So sad to go through life being so misunderstood. I don't need your pity! What I need is another chance. Come on, this is easy. <laughs> He's like, seriously, are you this stupid? Lamawa, you are protecting Machi. That's why you lied and told us that you had explained how the crime followed the song. I don't fault you for trying to help, but this is not the way. Machi, I believe you didn't do it. Really, I trust you. But you've lied to us twice. And now you have Lamawa lying on your behalf. If this is going to work, you have to trust me too. Your two lies cover a simple truth. You understand English. You have to. Ah! But just, why would they hide that, though? That's the thing that I don't understand. And we probably will eventually. Witness, is this true? Do you understand English? Yeah. Y yes, a little only. Yes, yeah, see, look at that. Yeah. What? First he could see, now he can talk. And you did not know about this Lamewa? I... No, I did not. This is quite a surprise. How many secrets is this witness hiding? Last. This is... Last. Machi, could you tell us what really happened? No! No shooting! I did no shooting! So you weren't in the dressing room when I heard the two gunshots, correct? Maybe he was there. Apparently the answer to that question isn't simple either. I was in dressing room behind desk. Manager on f he on floor, which would be after the shooting, right? Then there is voice. Voice or voices? Was it you and Emma, Apollo? So when Machi went into the dressing room, Mr. Latouse had already been shot, and then we came to the door. Panel high up. I take off. Run away. Run away. So it was you who escaped through the air vent. <laughs> As the prosecution has held all alone, no less. The defendant has admitted to being at the scene. Might we take this as a confession? Objection! No! He's clearly denied that he did it! I know shooting! Manager on floor! Already on floor. Objection! The victim had already been shot, you say? I find that hard to Next believe. Next thing you know, it's gonna be like, uh, actually, I'm the one who also sings the song. Like, Lamewa doesn't sing. Lamewa's like a terrible singer. She's like a terrible singer, and then, like, he sings for her. And plays piano. And plays piano. No, she plays piano. <laughs> it's like, huh? How does this work? No, he he's a uh, Billy Joel, or whatever it is, and plays piano and sings. Because, well, the reason I say this is because the guy was like, the siren is the one who saw me, blah, 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 blah. And he's not Actually, the Machi is the siren. Machi. <laughs> <laughs> the defendant understood the song lyrics. He was at the scene of the crime. This can only mean one thing. He is the shooter. Does the defendant have anything to say to this? He clamped up, Apollo. Then let's ask Mr. Justice. Will you require any further testimony from the witness? Yeah. Is that it? Is there nothing else I can get him to testify about? Wait. No, of course there is. What is this cocoon, anyway? How do you see me, Yola? The cocoon, the silk, is a potent cure. A cure? Well, Machi, are you... a smuggler? Samichimiya. Samichimi kukwa. He won't tell me. Yep, basically. That cocoon has to have something to do with this. 
Machi, please tell us the truth for your own sake. No, no more speak. Not to any of you. So much for your precious trust, Air Forehead. Um, it's his second language and he's in a court of law where everything he says will be either taped or written down. Of right. course he's freaked out. Hey, you were the one who didn't believe him. Regardless, this brings us to an impasse. It does seem that there's a, the, the defense and defendant are at odds. I doubt we are likely to learn anything more of value should this continue. I see no other course but to declare a five-minute recess. The defense will work things out with the defendant so that we might proceed. Wow, that's really kind. I thought he was just going to be like, Verdict, you gone. Shut up. Get out of here. July 10th, 1123 AM, District Court Defendant Lobby Number 2. Apollo Eustace. That's justice. Better learn how to say it if you ever want to get some. <laughs> Believe, I know shooting. Machi claims Mr. Lindpoon! Uh, <laughs> sorry, I have a really bad hay fever. <laughs> I'm sneezing in my head. <laughs> yep. He was already up down on the ground when he entered the room. Maybe it was a trap and he walked right into it? Suddenly, I hear revolver. Close, very close. Then I hear voice. You heard gunshots? Yes, it's true. I hear revolver, but only sound. Wait, you're saying you went into the dressing room? And found Mr. Linton! <laughs> Already dead, and then you heard shots? That's true. So, you were at the scene of the crime when you heard those shots? And you escaped for the air vent. I know. Huh? What do you know? I know if I open the vent, I can leave stage and back backstage. So the vents went to both the stage and the backstage area? Is that what he means? Hey, he's right! Look, Apollo! Huh, yeah. But how did you know it was connected like that? Wait, I bet his father was the architect that designed the hall or something! I hear this from Magician. Magician? D don't look at me! A magician, huh? Well, at least we're clear on one thing. Machi didn't shoot Mr. Latus. Yeah, but what does that leave us with? We're supposed to say he went into the room to find the body and then he heard the shots? That one's gonna go over well in court, not. Apollo, you're his defense. You're supposed to believe what he says, even lies. That's what daddy always told me. Um, I'll just pretend you misheard him every time. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we do? You sure you won't testify, Machi? I, no talking, no. Hmm, well it was worth a shot. That cocoon. Send me I can't go home. Can't go home! Sammy, see me! So, I see me! I can't go home to Borginia. I do not want to go home. The penalty for taking a cocoon from Borginia is death. That's right! It's punishable by death! Of course, he's scared. Oh well, I guess we'll just have to try a different approach. That's the spirit, Apollo! So, what's your plan? If Machi won't testify about it, we have to get someone else to testify. Someone else? I think we're out of time. Let's get back in there. Right. I don't know who else we're gonna have to testify. Yeah. Ugh. July 10th, 11.28 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby number three. Wait. Well, before Cout reconvenes, we're out of time for today, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. We're getting another witness on the stand. Wonder who it's gonna be. Any predictions? No. I don't know who it'll be. Do you have any guesses? Um... Val Grammary, stop boarding that train! <laughs> oh, maybe. No! Maybe. <laughs> Anyhow, look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.